Welcome guys, what's going on? Oh my gosh, Techno Wade intro. I'm turning into Techno Wade. That's nice. I mean, I'm okay with that. He's epic. But uh, anyway, today I will be bringing you 8 tips to start a gaming channel in 2020. So uh, I'm just going to get right into it. But first I want to say, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of it, subscribe. And if, you, if it helps you out, like. Because I make videos like this a lot. And if you want to see more, just like the video. And uh, subscribe. Please, I'll be happy. Uh, first tip, be strategic. Maybe this could mean using color psychology. No, you just need to know what you're doing, honestly. You just, don't just post and then hope you get millions of views. That is just, in case you're wondering, yes, that is just a TV stereotype. Not every single video anyone posts gets three million views. Like, that's, that's not how it works. And it frustrates me seeing that. Just... Know what you're doing. It's like it's as simple as that. Um, you could be using psychology, like putting colors people like in your um, logo, and then you know people will like just it will just put them in a good mood, you know, something like that. Just be strategic. Know what you're doing. That's it. Uh, second tip: Don't make let's plays. Look up. Like what I really mean by this is um, you need to. Like, at least until... Alright, how do I say this? Alright, once you... Once you're, like, you have a decent fan base, like, at least a couple hundred subscribers, you can start making Let's Plays. But no one's gonna care who you are. Like, unless you're really funny and you get lucky, like, you're not, your Let's Play videos aren't gonna do well if they're you're just your first videos. So you need to have a good fan base before you start doing that. What I will say, though, is... Like, not just a don't, I'm going to add a do. Make videos, as you might notice, I've been doing this. I want you to comment if you kind of, like, picked this up. Uh, if you noticed what I was doing. Try to post videos people are going to search up. And videos people are going to, like, actually want to watch. N like, even if they have no idea who you are. No idea, like what you're like not even heard your voice heard of you they have no idea who you are so just make videos people will watch no matter who made it not just gameplay or let's play videos so uh now i'm gonna say be original and stand out think about every youtuber you really like Th they stand out in some way dream is really good technoblade's really good technoblade is also hilarious and is a pig um let me think. Uh, Dream is really good, and his skin is kind of like people know him for that. Tom Unit has his red and white shirt. He's he's pretty well known for that, and you know like uh, Bad Boy Halo is known for never cursing at all, just being complete anti cursing, and uh, yeah, basically just stand out in some way. This could also mean just being good at the video games you play. Um, it could mean just being hilarious, or it could just kind of mean something like you wear people like your personality. Just stand out in some way. Uh, the next one is editing. You have to have somewhat good editing. It cannot be... This doesn't mean, like, you have to have a pro monitor face cam. Like, I don't even have a face cam right now. I mean, I might try to get one eventually. Um, you know, I don't know. But what this really just means is you have to... You really just have to, um, like, edit at least a little bit. Like, I'm editing on Share Factory right now, right now. And, like, Share Factory is not that great, but a little bit of editing goes a long way. And this kind of goes with thumbnails. I'm just going to add this little tip in. It's not on the list, but I'll add it. Like, make good thumbnails, please. Like, it's, it's not worth your time. Just, like going through all the video stuff and then just having the default thumbnail. I mean, sometimes... Because the default thumbnail is just going to be a random frame from your video. And it, it, in most cases, it's a really bad one. So, like, just kind of... Just kind of, like, make a thumbnail and do some editing, at least. And you should be, like, pretty good. Uh, next is research the algorithm. Figure out what's doing well at the time and try to figure out how they're doing so well. Like, figure out how Dream is doing well and try to kind of replicate that in your own way. Don't literally be Dream. Don't, don't exactly be Dream. Like, don't be his clone. But, like, 
figure out who's popular right now, who's blowing up, and how they're doing it. Because chances are they're researching the algorithm, and you gotta do the same thing they're doing. So, I mean, like, just research the algorithm. It doesn't even have to be that much, and this isn't really required, but it will really help and go a long way if you do this. Next one is get friends. Uh, it's too late for me on this one. I've spent, like, four years just working on my YouTube channel. I haven't really been concerned about socializing, and I'm, I'm slightly antisocial. But it helps out to have people who will, like, you know, really, like, be on your side. And especially if they're YouTuber friends. I'm not saying, like, find out in your school who has, like, a YouTube channel with a lot of subscribers and then just become their friend and steal all their subscribers and clout. I'm just saying, like, try to, um, if you can, then you should try to make friends. And, like, you know, it does help. But then, uh, the next tip is promote your channel. Yeah, just, just promote, promote your channel, please, like, a little bit. Th but don't, uh, if you are one of those people who is, uh, as I said that, you're like, oh, yeah, I should, I should go down into your comment section, and, uh, I should just, I should just start promoting my channel, self-promotion in the comments. No, this could mean, you know, f just chill like not spam promotion but like slight just kind of hinting at a promotion maybe go on quora and some if someone's saying like look up questions on quora or something go to like quora.com or whatever the website is and uh figure out like what questions people have that are related to a video you just posted so let's say it was a tutorial you made like look up people asking how to do that and then just point them over to your tutorial. So, like, it, it, I mean, that's one way you can do it. And it's, it, it's a, pr it's definitely a pretty good way, at least in my opinion. Um, so I'd say that's, like, a pretty good one. Just a little bit of promotion can help out. Not too much. Do not self-promote. It can get you in trouble and people will hate you. People already hate me, but for other reasons, not self-promotion. Okay, uh, on to the next one. Uh... The last one, too. Figure out who you are. This is kind of like stand out and be original, but not really. This is just really just saying, like, figure out what kind of videos you're going to post. I've been realizing I like making Minecraft videos. I'm still going to make other videos. Don't worry. I'm still making other videos. Whatever you guys like. But figure out what is easier, like, what's easy for you to make, what you love to make. Because it's way easier to, like, actually like what you're doing, like what you're making. So make sure you know you know what you're doing, you like what you're doing, and stuff like that. And uh, you should be pretty set. Uh, I'd say that's it for the video. Uh, there are your tips. Goodbye.